The Wolf in Sheep's Clothing A wolf found it very difficult in getting to the sheep because of the vigilance of the shepherd and his dogs. But one day it found the skin of a sheep that had been flayed and thrown aside. And so it put the sheepskin on over its own pelt and walked down among the sheep. A lamb began to follow the wolf in sheep's clothing around. And so the wolf led the lamb away from the others and made a meal of her. For many days he was successful in tricking the sheep, and he had many hearty meals. Appearances can be deceptive. Now, as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. <laughs> تو حتی کلیسا داریم دعا میکنیم این خب بیایم توبه کنیم زانو بزنیم گاهی آدم وسوسه میشیم که الان برم زانو بزنم این دوست من میگه این چی کار کرده که الان رفته اونجا اشک بریزم که دیگه دیگه آب روم رفته میگن چه گناه عظیمی کرده بر آرو آب توبه رو سرش بریزیم این حتما با یکی یه برنامه چیزی بوده این هفته یه دیگه کاری کرده به شوهرش خیانت کرده به زنش حتما الان اومده این جلو زانو زده که هیچی داری گریه هم میکنه پس میبینی چقدر مسئله چقدر وخیمه چه بدبختیه این چه گناهکاری بعد میگی خب پس من نمیرم تو با هانو and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they did not love their lives to the death
For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness, whose end will be according to their work. One of the most recognizable and contested religious sites in the world is found in the old city of Jerusalem. We know it today as the Temple Mount, a sprawling network of platforms, plazas, walls, gates, and cisterns culminating in the shimmering dome of the rock. Jews know this area as a site steeped in history, as that of the first temple built by Solomon and a later temple built by Herod the Great which was a 35-acre complex of buildings and open courts more grand than its predecessor. This temple, Herod's Temple, is mourned by Jewish people today and retains a special significance in the pages of scripture and the annals of history as the temple Jesus knew.